Carl Lewis. I love you. Well, I know what you can say. He's from Willingboro, New Jersey. How about that? How about you start with that? Uh, first of all, when Troy talked about 2008, 2009, and 2010 voting, right? When all, everyone ran out and they were voting and they were excited about voting for our president and they got engaged in it, well, we had a, a great last line. We, we brought our president in. We brought in Democratic um, congressperson. We did all of that. Uh, two years later, we had a nasty health care vote and fight, and everyone got angry and you stayed home. And now you have John Wayne. Mm -hmm. did, did, did someone say elections have consequences? Mm -hmm. I, can I hear it again? Elections have consequences. How about that? <laughs> but the bottom line was that because you chose not to vote. Say it again? Because you chose not to vote. That's right. And, I, you know, it's funny, Reva, you, know, you too, because I woke up this morning and it's snowing outside and it's cold and it's nasty. And, and um, you know, I used to live in Houston and California and they say I'm not really from here. I had a choice. I could have been laying in the sun today. But I chose to be here because this is where I'm from and this is where I'm supposed to be. Oh, yeah. but, but I'm going to give you a little history. And some of you probably know my parents, you know, um, Evelyn and Bill Lewis. They might have taught you. You might have coached or taught with them or coached them or seen them in the community. I moved here as a baby in 1963. And something reminded me, Herb, when you were talking, uh, you know, in 1954, um, they had the bus strike, you know, in, Bur in uh, Montgomery, Alabama. We all heard about that. Well, you know, my parents were, we, they lived in Montgomery at the time. My two brothers were born there, and Dr. King baptized them. I don't know if you know that story. We were, that was our church. <laughs> and uh, they, what, they, what they did during that, when, when my mother and Dr. King were the same age. So they called, they were only 26. Now think about it, they were 26. So they called everyone to the church saying, we're going to have to stop this bus strike. So what happened is, we all know, we had to sit in the back of the bus. Montgomery had the best bus system, one of the best ones in the country, because we sat in the back. It was wonderful, beautiful buses. It looked good. And we would just march in that bus and go right onto the back and have to sit down. And if my feet hurt, I had to go anyway. Well, guess what? When um, they did the strike and stopped, and of course they, they uh, stopped segregating the buses, guess what happened to the bus system? The bus system went down. The bus system went away because all of a sudden, if I can't have it, I'm not going to put anything into it. Doesn't that sound like a tea party to me? If I can't have it, then I don't care about it. No one can have it. See, that's why the voting is so important. Herb, you talked about health care. We we, your senator right now is dancing across the stage, um, just had you know, a cancer scare, and you know what, guess what? Every single person in this room is paying for her health care. Did you know that? But she took yours because of the, uh, there, there was a, a clinic for women right over here in, in West, West Ham, You're right in your town. Andre, stay focused. Okay. Leave it alone. <laughs> Pop is on the mic. Let him wait. Don't you tell your kids, leave that phone alone when you're in school. <laughs> Pop is preaching right now, you're in school. So, you're paying for her, her, her health care, and she took yours away. Uh -huh. Now, why, why are we even having an issue? Because I'm, I'm about finished. Why are we even having an issue? There are more Democrats registered in this district, more Democrats registered in eight district, but they continue to say, oh, it's heavily Republican over there, and it's going to be a tough race here. You know why? Because people allow people to define what you think. Now, every day, you know, I, I, uh, um, I coach over at Willingboro. I've been coaching over there for years. There's great kids over there all the time. And I hear the kids say, oh, my God, so-and-so and so-and-so. And I'm like, get to know the facts. You have the history of the world and that little thing in your palm. And you know less than I did reading the Art Linklater Dictionary. <laughs> but the bottom line is that it's knowledge, it's in information, and we have to understand it. One thing 
thing that one thing that campaign taught me is that you know you 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 always people oftentimes get out and they want to become politicians. And and people used to say to me, "Oh my God, you're in politics now." I said, "No, no, no, no. I'm here to serve." I said, "I don't need a Senate title. I'm sorry. I'm, no, no offense, but I don't need a Senate title. I'm athlete of the century. I'm Olympian. I'm a United Nations ambassador." I'll, I'll put it about fourth, but service I'll put first. And so, the, the, so it's time, it's time to remember that their objective is when they talk about taking their country back, they want it back to 1954 when you can walk to the back of that bus. First of all, I don't want to go back. I only want to go back to high school, and I liked it. So it's time to not only support these candidates, but walk out of here with a mission. It's time to go to work. Because they've gotten together, and even when we have our time, when, when, when they're protesting it on Wall Street now, what's the other, what are they doing? They're screaming, why are they doing this? What's going on? That's for everyone. That is for everyone. And you know what's, what's interesting, Her, you, you talked about the wealthy. Most of the wealthy people say, Give, take 3%. Most of them say, take it, take it. I was on the radio and a guy said, we'll take, I, I said, I'll do okay, I'll do a little bit. And he goes, how in the world can you give your money away? I said, let me tell you something. I was a nappy headed little boy that got went to six schools in Willingboro, New Jersey, and now I'm the fast man in the world, I'm doing just fine. I can't wake up every day and be thankful. So, it is time to go to work. And if you're not willing to go to work, you have to accept the consequences. Think about the fact that when Rosa Parks, who was a friend of my mom, she talks about it all the time, she said she didn't want to go back there because her feet hurt. And, and people came from the north to the south just for people to vote, to give opportunity. They taught people to pass the voter's test, which is what they're doing, like you said, around the country. They're taking the vote back. A 93-year-old woman can't even vote. If she can count to 10, she can come here and vote for me. I mean, come on, it's ridiculous. And, and, and there's no excuse. There's zero excuse. If you're talking about only 30-something percent of the people vote, if 75% or 80% of the Democrats always voted, would you ever lose? That's what I'm talking about. It's, 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 it's one day a year. And see, so, so take one day a year, and then you can march the rest of 364 days, or you can not take one day a year and be mad all 365. <laughs> That's really what it's like. So next Tuesday, you know, the choices are there. And it's all up to everyone else. So you, you can either, on the 8th, you know, talk to someone, take someone, get help, get there, get up to that 80%, win it all, and then demand that we get the things and go through the values and take everything that you believe in. Because it's, it's supposed to be a government for the people. Right now, it's all about the office. Five years ago, teachers were heroes. Now they're devils. So I've got, it's time to go to work, people. It's time to go to work, it's over. It's a wrap because they're, they're, they're gonna tear everything down unless you put up that firewall and the way you put up that firewall is go to work and it starts Tuesday, November 8th. Thank you.